Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to be looking at negative numbers and we're going to do so using temperature. Hopefully this helps. Okay, so let's say we have a basic number line here. If you imagine it starting over here and going up like this. Each one of these little lines along the number line is a number. So if we're going to start on zero, as we would with most number lines, our next number is going to be one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then finally eight would go there. As with any number line though, this just shows us counting, it's going up in intervals of one, but it could keep going and it would go on and on and on and it would go off the page. We could keep going if we wanted to, that's just all I can fit on. But let's say we wanted to go less than one. It seems odd to go to a number uh, less than zero, sorry. It seems odd to go to a number less than zero because how could you have an amount of things that's less than zero? But it's helpful because it first started, for instance, with lending people money. Um, they introduced negative numbers because say you had zero pounds and you wanted to lend your friend five pounds, you would have minus five pounds. To show this on a number line, what we do is we could extend it further past zero. And if you've got less than zero, as I said, we show this using negative numbers. So let's have a go at seeing what that would look like. Now, as you can see, we've got some more space but what would happen if we extended our number line past zero? So just here, each of these intervals, each of these spaces, just as each one of those represents one whole number, it's gonna be the same going this way past zero. So we're gonna show it counting backwards now using negative numbers. So one less than zero would be minus one, two less than zero would be minus two, three less than zero would be minus three, four less than zero would be minus four, and then five less than zero would be minus five. So if you started with zero pounds, but you wanted to buy something, so your friend lent you five pounds, you would then have minus five pounds because you'd have no money in your pocket and you'd owe them five pounds so you'd have minus five pounds but if you started with zero and you were given five pounds it would go the other way you would end up with having positive five pounds because you've got five new pounds in your pocket. So if you were given five pounds, you would gain five, but if you were lent five pounds, you'd still owe them five pounds, so you'd need negative numbers to show that you would have to owe them that much money. You've not just got zero, you owe them money. Another time we want to use negative numbers is when we are dealing with temperature. On the left here you can see a thermometer. It goes from zero, it goes up and shows all these temperatures above zero degrees Celsius and it can also go down showing all these numbers and temperatures that are below zero degrees Celsius. As you can see at the minute, the green part of the thermometer is going up to zero degrees Celsius. Zero degrees Celsius as a temperature is important because that is the temperature as we learnt in our science lessons that water freezes at. It's important to know that if you go outside and water is frozen it means it is either zero degrees Celsius or it is below. Because the temperature can get a lot colder than the temperature that water freezes at. We need numbers to represent how much colder that is. For instance, if you stepped outside and it was snowing, it might be just below zero degrees, perhaps minus five, 
but if you went somewhere really, really cold, like the Antarctic, it could be minus 15 or even well below that, a temperature that would go off this thermometer and you wouldn't be able to show it. it could be minus 40, minus 50 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, it's important that we have these negative numbers to show temperatures that are even colder than that zero degrees, which is the temperature that water freezes at. All right, hopefully that helped. Hopefully you've now got a better understanding of what negative numbers are, particularly in the context of temperature. If you have any questions or anything, just send me a message on Seesaw and I'll try and help you out.